Hello After Effects fans, welcome back to another After Effects episode. My name is Muhammad Amir and today we are going to start a new series called Tips and Tricks for Adobe After Effects. So let's get jump into After Effects. Alright, now I am in After Effects and first let me make a new composition 1920 by 1080 Frame rate is 29.97, duration 10 seconds is good and let me hit OK. First, let me make a background. So what we are going to do today, we are going to use some expression controllers inside Adobe After Effects and how we can use and what is the advantage of these sliders and the basic purpose of this tip. So how you can control your complete project colors from a single layer. So let me just go to the effects. First let me select this one. Go to effect. Generate. Oops, I don't know why this is not working. Effects. Generate. And then go to RAM. Gradient RAM. And let me type 5. 40 so it will be perfect center and radial ramp swipe the colors and from this let me choose a nice color something maybe like this and then we are to expose something like that. okay we are done with our background let me log this so first we need to make two text layer one for the title, one for the tagline, and the title is a productions tutorial. And let me center this quickly and duplicate. And here is the tagline amirproductions.com it's my official website you can go to my website and check out all the free tutorials about Fiverr, about After Effects and lots of other things let me type 60 for the size ok go cool. and maybe I need to make it bold ok perfect now first we go to the effect and then go to the generate and fill. Copy this fill and paste it here. Control C, Control V. Now we are going to make a new slider. But before this we are going to make a null object from here. And you can also go to the layer, new and create your null object. And let me call it color controller okay perfect now we have set up pretty everything we have text we have title we have tagline we have controller but we need to use color controller if you click here and go to the effect and expression controllers and you can see here is color controller so let me duplicate this control D from keyboard and call it title color and for this, I'm going to use tagline color. Okay, perfect. Now let me select this and press the E key from your keyboard for revealing the effects. So first we need to open this title color and click on the color. Now here is the tricky part. Hold down the command, Alt or Option, C from your Mac. And if you are on a window, then it's Alt Control C. So you can copy this value all right now let me go to my title press the e letter open the fill properties here is a color and then control v nothing will be happen but if i go back to here and change the title color so you can see suddenly the title will changing the color by controlling this layer so basically what is this this is an expression uh, inside Adobe After Effects that allow to drive the values uh, by your own expressions like in that case 
I am saying this value will be derived from this value. So if I go to here and let's open this. So here you can see here is a little expression. Com, 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 blah, 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 blah. This is a long code. I am not worrying about it. Anyways, for the next, let me click here and open the tagline color and say command option C from the Mac and control Alt C from the Windows and go to my tagline, hit the E button, open the fill properties, come to the here and control V. Boom, our slider is applied. Okay, now let me click here and then choose a gray color from here maybe yeah perfect so now everything is controlled by this controller layer this is a null you can turn on and off doesn't matter but your values will be derived from this direction so you can change your color on a single click if you have lots of layers in your project so it's easy for control the colors for like title and other things so this is the quick tip for today if you want to learn more about After Effects, then please go to my website and my website here is my website address. It's www.amirproductions.com and I will also provide the link in the description of the video. If you really like this video and tip, please thumbs up for the video and if you have any question regarding this tutorial or any other, please write your question down below in the comment section. My name is Mohammed Amir. I will see you in the next video.